Good morning everybody, Enter the Stars, and this is a follow-up video to further flesh out and understand how the signs of the Zodiac and the ages, the Earth ages, overlap the Bible. And I have some amazing discoveries to show you. And all I'm doing is following the veins of truth and not relying on what we've been told and taught in religion. This is a Bible study, a true Bible study. Now, as we've talked about, these signs of the Zodiac work in retrograde. So we're at Aquarius now, Pisces was before that, and Aries before that, Taurus, Gemini, etc. Now, Jesus is the marker, and that's how we know what age we're in. Now, there's some debate as to when the age of Aquarius has started, but I believe if it hasn't started already, it is soon to start. Now each of these ages is 2160 years, give or take, and it is determined by whatever sign is dominant in the sky at sunrise or sunset for that 2000 year period. And that's how we know what age we're in. And this, these are the constellations in the sky that are dominant. So, Jesus entered the age of Pisces when he was born to fish, and his birth coincided with the two fish. And if you count 2,160 years to the present from that date, that would be the age of Aquarius. And we do now see Aquarius dominant in the night sky. And this tells me that we are very close. Now this is what I found that's unbelievable. Now I found this Bible timeline on BibleHub.com, and this was instrumental and helping me to define the Earth ages by the Bible history. It shows the history, it shows the dates corresponding to the Earth ages. And as we align these events with what was dominant in the night sky, we actually see that they overlay perfectly. Now, if you look here, Jesus was born somewhere around 0 AD. AD Anno Dinami. That is about the time the New Age started of Pisces. Now if we go back 2000 years from that point to 2000 BC, we see corresponding Bible chapters and Bible subjects. Genesis 17, 18, and 19 that covers and overlays Aries, the Aries Earth Age, the Ram, the Goat. And if you look in the Bible, the ram and the goat were prominent during this earth age, overlaying the dominant constellation on the horizon. Now I wanted to find out where the word ram was mentioned, and I was shocked. Now Genesis 15.9 was the first time that the ram was mentioned in the Bible. And it corresponds perfectly with the age of the ram. When you look at this in context, it blew me away. God is talking to Abraham. And he says, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? And that's when the hair on the back of my neck stood up. Because it sounded just like the question that Jesus asked the disciples or the disciples asked Jesus about where they should go for the next earth age. And he told them to go in the upper rooms and find the man bearing the water jug, which is Aquarius. And we saw the same thing as they entered the earth age of Aries in this scripture, the first time that the ram is mentioned. Almost as if they knew they were entering the Aries earth age with this scripture in Genesis 15. Unbelievable. And he said, Take me and a heifer three years old, and she goat three years old, and the ram of three years old, and a turtle dove. And here we have the goat and the ram, both Aries. The heifer would have been from the previous earth age before that, which is the bull, Taurus. So God is basically showing a timeline here. Transitioning from the heifer, which is the bull, 
into the Aries Earth Age. Now let's continue on with this because this is just simply fascinating. The heifer was from the previous Earth Age of the bull, which is Taurus. And so God is showing us this timeline. Because he did not divide the birds. Now, the same thing happens when we type in the word goat. We see no Bible references before Genesis 15, which again overlays the timeline perfectly, putting us at the beginning of that age. We don't see it in Genesis 10 or anything. It starts in Genesis 15. Now, here's the amazing thing. The word goat, 129 times before Genesis 15 or so, we're looking now for the next Earth Age, which is Taurus, the bull. And what we find with the word bull is that it seems to like run alongside the ram sacrificial system. But remember, the ram sacrificial system is the only part of the system that points to the next age. Jesus was the new lamb sacrifice. And we see that reference often in the New Testament. Now this is fascinating. This is the book of Enoch, and in it, he recounts an allegory of the bulls, talking about the early history of man, the rise of Adam. Now, there is some overlapping, just as there is in the Bible, of these two bulls, the bulls and the rams. In fact, Enoch goes on to talk about how Bible history started and that the Adam and Eve were two bulls. This is how he describes them in this vision, in this allegory. He says there is a bull that came forth from the earth. And then after that, a heifer. And then he talks about Cain and Abel being of black and a red bull. But here's the fascinating thing. We get down to the 12 tribes of Israel. Because this is all allegory. Because he recounts the entire biblical history of the Old Testament. Uh, so he talks about the bulls, the sheep, but it isn't until verse 12 that he talks about the 12 sheep or the 12 tribes of Israel, which is exactly when we see in the Bible timeline that the we see the beginning of the age of Aries. And this directly precedes the age of a Pisces which is when Jesus came on the earth. Uh, and this is the beginning of the sacrificial lamb system. Now, if you look at the timeline here, there's a lot of estimations before 2500, before 3000 BC. So I switched gears and I went into the book of Jubilees. Now the book of Jubilees actually measures the history and recounts almost the entire Old Testament and breaks it up into Jubilees. Now, this book was found with the Dead Sea Scrolls in 1947 um, with the complete Hebrew Bible, but it's not included in our modern Bible. But it basically recounts the entire Old Testament. But here's what it does. Um, it actually delineates jubilees. One jubilee equals 49 years, so you have a much more accurate accounting system than we can derive from just reading the other books of the Bible. So we can get like an exact history but here's what I found that was fascinating. It says here, the third week of the second Jubilee, she gave birth to Cain. And then the fourth, she gave birth to Abel. So when you count the Jubilees, it says that Cain was born when Adam was 67 years old in 3937 BC. That is, another 2,000 years before the age of Taurus. So before the age of Taurus was Gemini, the twins. So we have Cain and Abel, Gemini's the twins. They are twins. They were born within a few hundred years of Adam and Eve placing both pairs squarely at the beginning of 4000 BC, the beginning of the age of Gemini. 
Now, this is where we get into dece the deception of the, of the evil one. He tries to overlay his own lies over the true Bible story, to, to claim the fame, so to speak. So when we look at ancient mythology, we see Castor and Pollux are, are attributed to the astrological age of Gemini. They're the twin brothers. And I, this, I believe, falls perfectly in line with Cain and Abel. Now, Castor and Pollux, the twin, Gemini twins, that are reflective of the age of Gemini, Cain and Abel, Adam and Eve, the pairs, are mentioned in the Bible. I couldn't believe when I saw this, they're mentioned in verse 11 of Acts. And it's Apostle Paul shipwrecked on the island of Malta in 60 AD. And this is what he says about Castor and Pollux. After three months, we departed in a ship of Alexandria, which had wintered in the isle, whose sign was Castor and Pollux. Unbelievable. So I looked up Alexandria and Castor and Pollux, and guess what I found? Philo, who lived before Paul shipwrecked on the island of Malta, See, he died in 50 CE, or 50 AD. Wrote, he wrote about Cain and Abel extensively. These were his writings. So Paul's reference here regarding Alexandria, where Philo was from, and Castor and Pollux, is a direct reference to Cain and Abel. Another indication that Cain and Abel were indeed Castor and Pollux, spoken about in Greek mythology, and further confirmation of the age of Gemini, that the age of Gemini is the age of Cain and Abel and Adam and Eve. And that leaves us with Cancer, which was just before the Earth Age of Gemini. We don't really have a history for Cancer, but as you can see, Cancer is a broken infinity symbol. It's a 69. It's a variation of the broken Jesus symbol, which is the fish, before time was recorded, before time existed. This was everlasting life. And we're coming back to that in the age of Aquarius.